Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, plans, yeah, we all make plans. Uh, you might be trying to make some te tentative plans for a summer vacation, as hard as that planning can be, uh, not knowing exactly where we can go when. Uh, maybe you're planning to uh, build a new deck, but have you seen the prices of lumber these days? Whoo wee <laughs> Uh, perhaps you're planning for school in the fall or for retirement or, or for starting your own business. Uh, we all make plans. Planning is a, is a natural part of a normal life. Uh, in 2 Corinthians 1, Paul tells us that he had made some plans. He had planned to come visit his uh, Christian family in Corinth. He was planning to stop by and see them on his way to Macedonia. And then uh, he would stop by and spend time with him again on his way back uh, to his home in Judea. Uh, he was uh, making some plans and he admits that he didn't do his planning lightly. Well, it seems that uh, his plans had sort of fallen apart, but then he assures us and ensures them that God's plans always happen. We read in verse 20, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Amen. So be it, Lord. Uh, things come to pass through Jesus Christ. It is true in Jesus. And so we can say amen. All of God's promises, his promises to seek and save the lost are yes in Jesus Christ. Uh, we can trust him. And so in all of our planning, uh, let's submit our plans to our Lord and let's be faithful in following his lead for our lives, knowing that the Lord has made plans and all of his plans come to pass. Well, before I go, uh, here's a little bit of wit uh, from uh, Pastor McKenzie's collection. Uh, he said one time, frequently, he who laughs last didn't get the point at all, but is just being polite. Politeness goes a long way in this world. Hope you're having a great day. God bless you.